That's rolling, yeah? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Chris here again from the Business Hustle. We've got in today John from SCS. No, uh, he's not from SCS. He's FCS. FCS. <laughs> what did I say? SCS. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Chris here from The Business Hustle and today we have a special guest who is John Lormer from FCS and he's in the studio just to basically share a bit about who he is, what he's doing this year. Um, John, you have a relatively new business. It's just kind of started out inside... Uh, October 17th, oh. so just sort of 14 months past, Chris. Okay, and kind of like... the. the it's quite a big sort of year for you, supposing that, that you're hitting 2019. Yeah. You said it is early just before we started the, the podcast that you were looking at this year going, this is going to be a big year for me. And you yeah. kind of wanted to hit it start and go on, like I'm going to get stuck into things. But like with every business, we hit a hurdles and we'll have things that happen. So for for us, kind of like we want to find out a bit more about you, what you do, what makes your business tick. Yeah. So give us a, a quick, if you were stuck on an elevator with us, what would what would you say that you do? Um, to distill it down, I'd say electrical safety, and mm -hmm. it's the services I provide provide you with electrical safety. Um, that's what we're all about, is trying to promote that and mm -hmm. educate and inform mm -hmm. people uh, just what the regulations and the law states that you have to do. So, yeah, uh, that's it. So, what if if I was like a, a business owner out there right now, would I need to use your services no matter what? Every yeah. business owner, um, if they have a premises, have mm -hmm. a duty mm -hmm. of care under the law, uh, statutory to uh, look after their staff and look mm -hmm. after their premises so without knowing it yes they need my services yeah or well, that's a pretty good somebody business somebody. to be yeah, in then yeah, yeah. yeah that's it what does that look like john like we've got a lot of uh tax stuff in here do you yeah. come in and check it and all your uh, items that would be classed as pat testing yep. um, emergency lighting within the studio and fixed wire testing um, which is the one that people don't really know about that's the cables within the walls um, mm. so it's the stuff you don't get to see yeah um the likes of commercial premises should be tested every five years. Oh, so very good. Yeah. What got you into, why Why kick on? You've got it, you had a solid job, mm. you were making a, f making a few <laughs> quid. Why Why throw it all the pot and say, I want to do uh, my own, I want to make my own course? Yeah. Um, I, I moved into a role which was business development and okay. it spoke to the guy and, you know, it was, I was saying things like I think we should be pushing, you know, pushing this up people and trying to build the business around okay. safety rather than just doing it ad hoc. Yep. Um, and I wasn't really getting anywhere. And it, it happened in my last couple of jobs and I just got to a point where I thought to myself, the only way I'm going to be able to voice this and get, get it across and get the values mm. of a business across is by doing it myself. Mm -hmm. um, well, so I took a jump. That's fantastic. Uh, it's not that often you hear someone... Uh, I know a lot, there's a lot of different businesses uh, that, that I know and we have dealt with over the years. Mm -hmm. It's refreshing to hear that you were in your last couple of roles mm -hmm. and you were actively, proactively looking to increase revenue, increase services, yeah. uh, increase credibility. I think that's really, really powerful. And I've, I've only known you, what, maybe three, four or five months. Yeah. Met you a few times, um, seen you at the Gavin Wall event. Yeah. And... I'm really, really impressed with how you market yourself on... Okay. Um, good, that's on good. Yeah, <laughs> that's no, good I really am. Because you seem to stray for a standard that is, is fairly high. Yeah. What, what, what drives that, John? Um, I think it's a belief. Henry, it's a belief in what I do that I, I think it is. Indirectly, it's saving lives. And I know mm -hmm. that sounds really corny, but yeah. you know, if I can come and you've seen some of the defects mm -hmm. I put up and some of the real yeah. bad situations I'm finding... If I find that and fix it, I'm stopping a potential fire, I'm stopping mm -hmm. a potential yeah. electrocution. Um, and that's probably what drives it, is just you think, you're doing good. Very good. Providing a good service. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. So obviously you're, you're kind of started out and you're starting out as a, as a small business at the minute yeah. and you're hoping to kind of grow the brand and grow the, the business. Definitely. What's kind of like the hurdles of being a small business at the minute and trying to put yourself out there? Like you were mentioning things about when you want to, basically started any new business everyone wants to sort of be credible and they want to look like they know what mm. they're doing especially whenever it comes to your line of work because it's a yeah. very specific type of work that you're doing it's very important yeah um i tried early on uh, within the first four months of the mm -hmm. business to get myself nikki Ag accredited which is third party accreditation yeah. for the business um it gives me a bit of kudos then mm -hmm. as a small company that we're striving we're not just a subcontractor we're striving to be at a certain level yeah very good um and that's kind of what pushes me on is I mm -hmm. want to be um, a better business, a good business, mm -hmm. um, and not just a not just a labour only subcontractor yeah. as such. 
That's fantastic. You started off on your own, mm-hmm. and now you've got a staff of five. So you've you've uh, developed uh, and grew the business. You've grew yourself because I've noticed you've you've put on weight. Yep. But you know, January is <laughs> a, a, a new day. Thanks for that, Hannah. <laughs> what have you? Uh, and the, the camera puts twenty pounds on, so I don't know what size oh, John looks like here, but sure. Happy um, Christmas. <laughs> I've enjoyed myself. <laughs> Haven't we all? Um, what 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 were the two or three things that you've uh, done from a marketing perspective that has grown FCS from the startup of John Larmer to the five guys? What have you done yeah. proactively that actually can help some of them, maybe a startup person there who's maybe someone who's looking to take that step between mm. a, they want to employ someone, but it's that scary thing of employing someone, paying them a wage every week, and how do I generate more business? Yeah. Yeah. That's a big, that's a scary thing. So what, what have you done? It was scary for me. Um, I probably tried to take the fear out of it. It's the fear factor that stops you. Yeah, it and, is. Um, as soon as I had the first opportunity for a big contract, like a Grand Central Hotel, we tested it. When I went and priced the job before we won it, it was just me. It was just me in a car. I didn't awesome. even have a van at the time. Excellent. Um, went, talked to them, impressed them, uh, got the job. So got my van, started employing men. I would encourage anybody to not shy away from the big jobs. Yeah. Take it and man up to it if you're ready for it. That's, Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, funny enough, we've been on the go for 23 years working together, me and Henry, yeah. and years ago we were doing small websites and we were thinking, can you charge this much or can you push out this design job to be this? Yeah. And then we started looking at some of the bigger contracts and we were thinking, well, why why can't we do this and why do we limit ourselves? And I think as, as business owners, sometimes we, we kind of automatically limit mm-hmm. ourselves down and we think, oh, no, I'll wait for a couple of years before I yeah. apply for this. But yeah. it turns out, actually, if you have the drive to go and do stuff and yeah. you have the will to go and do it, I think you should actually go and make the, the plunge for it. Um, yeah, yeah, the the drive's a big thing. And mm-hmm. LinkedIn, Henry, I'll know I'm quite active on LinkedIn, the same as I'm not as active as Henry. But, uh, I think, <laughs> I think Henry's great, trying to get shares in I it. I think he is too, <laughs> but I think it's a great tool. I have yeah. just increased connections, increased totally. mm-hmm. talking to people. Mm-hmm. And... I can see the good out of that. I'm getting yeah. maybe not an awful lot of work, but yeah. you're, you're building. Like Henry knows who I am. He knows what I'm about. Mm-hmm. And as a 14-month-old business, it's, I think that's amazing yeah, that people totally, know you. And, yeah. and I think when, when people get to know you as a person, because you, you, are, you are a good guy. I know you're from Bellamina, but we'll not hold yeah, that against yeah. you. And you ha- you strive for accents, so your business is batting at a level. I really believe that, um, as you say, you're using LinkedIn, you can uh, using other uh, platforms, but there's you don't know who could bring your next client. Yeah. And the more visible you are, the more credible you become. And the, and the more credible you become, obviously people will refer you. Yeah. And as you say, what, in, in the next, obviously you're going, what, 14, 15 months. Mm. What does 2019 look like um, for you, John? In an ideal world. In an ideal world. What, the ideal and the actual. You want mm. the ideal. The actual you're here, but you're going to try and get yeah. to here. I'm probably striving this year to try and find myself multi-site contract. I would love to find a client that we can go direct to, um, somebody with like 30 sites, okay. I don't know, for instance, a chain, a franchise, something like that, mm-hmm. that we can do directly that I can sort of prove to people that we're capable mm-hmm. of carrying out that level of work. Excellent. That's really what I'm pushing for and putting, Very the, good. putting the feelers out for. Yeah, and I, I'd actually seen a post um, from John that he was actually watching what he was eating, and um, <laughs> He's that to you for that. and John today, which was really very kind, of, he brought some buns in today. Uh-huh. Um, so, what what about tell? Where where do you see three years? Can you look down three years from now? Where do you want to be, John? Can I ask you a real personal question? What age are you? Thirty seven. Thirty seven. Mm-hmm. What does a forty year old John Larmer look like? I know he's a bit thinner, but sure, go, a, go a bit, with that. A bit thinner to start with. Uh, 40-year-old John Lormer is running FCS, potentially 10 engineers. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Um, I'm doing three days on site and two days of meetings, out, mm-hmm. uh, keeping the clients happy. Very good. That's the vision. Um, how I get there, I don't know, but I think having that goal, goal always yeah. helps. You know that yeah. you have to strive to try Very and Very good. Would you see goal setting um, as a, a big thing in your world? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, two years ago, I wouldn't have said that I was confident enough or capable of enough to run a business. Yeah. Um, and I took a real change in mindset and started writing down thoughts, ideas, goals. Mm-hmm. Excellent. 
if I look back on that book now, FCS is there. I, yeah. It grew on paper by me just writing down ideas awesome. and stuff. So I would really encourage anybody that's thinking about a business, they journal mm. and, and write it down. I, I think it's okay. You know, we have a lot of different things. Christopher winds me up about the, the vision boards uh, and some of the things that are that are here. But see, until you have a, a, a goal, yeah. um, a lot of the times we don't know how to, to get there. Yeah. But if you have something to shoot for, at least important. then you can make the mistakes, tweak, change, and go again. And, you know, different goals at different times mean different things at different times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But until you start to, the process going, um, you know, it, it's, it's not going to happen until you get the, the thing moving. Yeah. yeah, but we started out there even on Monday. We looked at this part of our business. We, went, we want to get here, but yeah. you can't get there overnight. It's a huge, big task no. for us to do. Mm-hmm. And instead of just us saying, right, we want to get here, it's actually probably the process of getting there is probably the more enjoyable part as a yeah. business owner because we're able then to put in like, the first quarter, we want to do this. The second quarter, we want to have be at this stage. And the mm. third quarter, by the end of the year, we want to be here. Yeah. And I think actually sort of achieving, sometimes you won't get it. Sometimes you won't be in the ideal place of where you want to be. But I think whenever you set a goal and you say, right, here's the steps that I can make now yeah. to do it. And as business owners, the most important thing for me is actually going and doing things. Um, yeah. So many times you have great ideas, you don't execute them because one, yeah. you're maybe afraid that you'll, you'll make a, plunker out of yourself or yeah. you'll, you'll look like you don't know what you're doing whereas if you actually just go and set things in place and say right I want to be here and I want to just even start with one step yeah, and it, it's amazing where you can be so even just hearing your story there if like you start writing down a couple of ideas yeah. and then the big thing was that you took, you took action on it rather than just sitting on your hands that's another big thing for people is to, to have the idea and you have something there I mm-hmm. encourage you to take the steps or take action um, yeah. and once you do that it sets you on that journey um, if you take the first step, the next one's a lot easier. Yeah. Mm. Um, that's sort of what happened with me. Even with writing it down, you were encouraged to yeah. create the business. Once you've done that, you're thinking about a logo and it's in your head and the next steps just evolve and then you're, that's right. you're, you're here now. What, what about outside influences, John? What about people? What about mentors? What about advisors? Have you got anybody in your world that you, you look to for information or guidance or whatever? You, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there's a lot of people helping me at the start, I'll be honest. Um, Gavin Wall was one. Um, I sat down and had a chat with him before I started the business. And uh, just good advice. You know, yeah. he looked at me and he says, you know you know the business. You've been in it 20 Excellent. years. That's just encouragement. He just said, go go for it. He's you a know? great encourager, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, it was very, very good. Um, mm-hmm. And, he, you know, I watch a lot of videos and LinkedIn, YouTube, like yourselves, and... It really, really helps. Mm-hmm. Even Chris has helped me with marketing tips yeah. and, you know, for, for videos and free of charge, I'll say. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's great for me because I don't know how to do these things. Yeah. But hints and tips and mm-hmm. advice is, you, I, I would be nowhere without it. So. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we are, we, and here, and we're a great believer in influencers. Yeah. And, you know, there's a, a famous book that says that iron sharpens iron. And I think in many ways, when you're around people of like mind who have got yeah. goal, who are goal setters, mm-hmm. who want to live a life of excellence, it rubs off on you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it makes you look at yourself and say, oh, I want to be better enough for the sake of pride or embarrassment. You say, no, I want to give our clients a service they deserve. Yeah. Tell me this. You're the young man, the 36 year old man. Seven. 30, no, you were, you were 36 when oh, you got okay, Grand okay, Central. Okay. Come on, yeah. John, don't I'm the yeah. mom, I'm speaking. <laughs> you're 36, you're sitting in the car. How did it feel starting out and, and seeing a prestigious hotel say, we want you to work with us? How did it feel? Amazing. Mm. Uh, it was, again, it sounds corny, but uh, you know, you go outside with the biggest grin on your face and you think, I bagged the biggest job in Belfast yeah. Know, yeah. As, as a testing company. Brilliant. I've test, you know, we're, we're going to do that. Mm-hmm. And it's amazing just driving through Belfast up the, you know, the M2 you're in. And you can see the Grand Center from everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's a great feeling of pride. Really, yeah. really good. That you are the health and safety ambassador of the Grand Central Hotel. That's it. Well, we tested it and hopefully it's due in five years again. Hopefully they'll come back to us. Very good. Well, there you go. Well, <laughs> when you go into the Grand Central Hotel, I want you to think of John Larmer uh, from the Mina, no light, uh, who has no your light. health and well-being at heart. <laughs> Okay, well, John, thanks so much for coming in, sharing a, a bit about what you do. Um, I think 
probably one of my big takeaways from just listening to you is that writing stuff down and taking action on it and actually believing in yourself that you can go and get those those bigger contracts and to just put a bit of trust in what you, what you can do as a person and I think for anyone that's out there and it's maybe listening to the show um mm. go and maybe write some things down today yeah. go on take a bit of action and say like you maybe you have a goal to be somewhere in a year's time or three years time but go and actually take a physical action today from from listening to this show so i'm chris thanks so much for listening to the show today john thank you so much for coming in yeah thank you and if you don't recognize john he might have lost a bit of weight or whatever <laughs> just look at him twice it, it is. John, I can only apologize for <laughs> thank guys you. thank you so much